Yeah. So here you are, a couple months ago or a year ago, you're making four dollars and change to, to wrestle. Now you're the headbangers. It's the attitude era. You're a rock star. Give me an example of like what that craziness, what that new fame was like, because there's never been more eyeballs worldwide than there was back then. It was um, it was uncomfortable, um, especially at first. So I don't want to say we knew when we made it, but I guess we knew we were known, which was at WrestleMania. So WrestleMania 13. So we signed our part time deal in November of 96. So that next year, whatever it was, March or April, WrestleMania 13 in Chicago, um, we were still part time. And we found out, you know, we were going to be on the show of WrestleMania in the four way tag match. And it was just like, we're, we're going to be in WrestleMania. Like, are you kidding me? I remember WrestleMania three going on a Garden State racetrack to watch it on the, you know, the closed circuit TV and scream at a big screen. Um, but yeah, so we walked into the hotel, picked us up at the airport. We walk into the hotel and you couldn't move. I mean, it was, it was just the lobby was packed. I mean, I, I'd never seen anything like that before. And you couldn't move. And then all of a sudden, somebody, you heard somebody scream, it's the headbangers. And we kind of turned and looked, and the whole place just started screaming and cheering. And we're like, are you really like cheering for us? Like, first of all, we're supposed to be heels and you're screaming and cheering for us. So it was crazy. So then we got up, we got into the hotel, we got to the, you know, up to the, the elevator, we went to our rooms. Um, and then we were like, we got, cause then they had separate rooms for us and Glenn and I have always roomed together. We're like, no, no, we're rooming together. Like we don't need separate rooms and don't save the room for someone else. Like we don't really care. So we're sitting in the room. We're like, we got to go back downstairs. Like we got, we got to see what this crowd, like, was that a fluke? Did someone, was it planted? Like someone planted in the crowd. So we walked down elevator doors open and the place erupted. The whole lobby just erupted. And then we went into the bar and that was it. It was like buying shots. People were buying us drinks and stuff like that. Um, so like you're eating dinner and no lie, you're eating dinner and you're like this with a fork and they're like putting papers here going, Hey, can you sign this? And then it's like, can I at least put the food in my mouth? Can I wait till dinner's over? So that part wasn't the best, but, um, I have zero complaints and zero regrets about it. It was, I mean, it was awesome. I don't want to, I'm not asking dollars and cents. I'm just curious. You're talking about a part-time contract. What is the difference between a part-time and a full-time? And when did you become full-time? Um, so here's what happened. So the part-time deal was, I'll tell you, I don't care, um, was $500 per TV. So, you know, now they're taping, you know, two nights a week. So we were, or they were doing, they were just doing one. That's when they were just doing raw every Monday. So we were at raw every Monday. So it was 500 bucks a week um, for every TV taping. And then they paid our trans. So they paid hotel and they paid car rental, um, which was amazing. So, I mean, I'm making, you know, $2,000 a month now. <laughs> I was like, this, I'm, I'm rich. I'm, this is, this is the best. Um, the, the difference with the full-time guys was they only got a hundred dollars of TV and they had to pay their own um, car rental and hotel. So that was the big difference. So we got 500 and then we got that. And then it was, so it was funny at WrestleMania, after WrestleMania, we, we won our match. We went over, um, I'll never forget it. We walked over to Shane. We got close with Shane um, McMahon. So we walk over to Shane and we're like, so Shane, we just won at WrestleMania. Like, what about full-time contracts? This was all at the after party at WrestleMania. He turns around and he goes, can you guys just relax and enjoy WrestleMania? We're like, we've enjoyed all weekend. We've done all the events. We've done this. We just want full-time contracts. And he goes, just relax. It's coming. Like, just Enjoy the moment, enjoy the, the weekend, and blah, blah, blah. So the next week, Bruce Pritchard came up to us, and he goes, you guys want full-time deals? We're like, yeah. And he goes, all right, here they are. So he handed us the contract, and I'm looking over it, and I'm like, yeah, this this isn't good, Bruce. And he's like, what do you mean it's not good? I thought you wanted – I said, we're losing money. He goes, how are you losing money? He goes, because at this point, we just found out they were coming out with merchandise, which is another reason why we wanted full-time deals. There was no merchandise in our part-time deal and our contract. So I was like, well, we get $500 at TV right now. Plus you pay, you know, all of our expenses are paid. I said, now you're taking $400 a week away at 1600 and I got to pay. So I'm going to lose money. So Bruce was like, what do you want? 
I said, I want you to take the merchandise part of this full-time contract, put it in my part-time contract and make the part-time contract full-time for three years. And Bruce was like, let me see what I can do. And he came back the next week. We got everything we wanted except the trans part. We had to start paying for our own car rental and hotel. <laughs> I mean, who would have the balls six months wow. in to go, yeah, we don't want this contract. But he expected you to be like in Wayne's world. Yes, yes. I like, I like what you did there. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> <Where do> I... <laughs> wow, that's a great story. That's yeah, a great so it story. worked out. So how did it end with you and Glenn? Why did they break up the headbangers? Um, part of this may be more of his story to tell. Um, but the biggest reason is, is he, he came back after, you know how they are. You, you leave if you're off TV for a while and Vince is paying you, he's expecting you to come back in better shape than when you were there. Um, Glenn came back in the shape of a, of grimace from McDonald's. I mean, that's, he, he blew up. He sat on the couch. He didn't mentally, he wasn't, he was afraid his knee would fail again. So he just, he didn't work out and he just blew up. And when he came back, they kind of just squashed us to the bottom. Um, and that's when the whole thing with the cones happened. And um, yeah, which was sad because that's when, you know, tag team, we were in my mind kind of before our time, because we came in with, the, the road warriors with the Godwins with Davy boy and Owen, Doug and Phil, you know, not so much technical or high. We were kind of the high flyers in the tag team division. And then you bring in the Hardys and edge and Christian and the Dudleys came in and then we got squashed right to the bottom. And the biggest reason was, is Glenn was just out of shape. Um, he was having trouble moving around in the ring and yeah. So that's, that's, that's kind of why they did it. And it was kind of a, um, a messed up way how they did it also. So we went to the gym and D'Lo and I have always been close. Um, so we went to the gym and then when Glenn was hurt and I was just doing Chaz or to be the Krivich thing, like I was traveling with D'Lo, him and Kane and I, we were all driving together. So we came back from the gym and we walk up to the, the run sheet that they would hang on the wall. And it said, uh, low down versus mean street posse. And we all stood there going, low down like another new tag team like what is this and then shane walks by and shane goes oh no one told you guys we we're like no and they're like chaz and Delo, you guys are you guys are low down you're a new tag team and glenn we gotta we gotta talk to you about what, what what's next and we were we were all like wow oh awkward. shit like this is right and to make it even more awkward it was in i think we we're in new haven connecticut so Glenn and I drive up to New Haven, Connecticut. So imagine that three-hour drive back to South Jersey, just the two of us and me being excited at the idea of a new opportunity, but upset over, you know, not being with Glenn because, yeah, I mean, Glenn trained me. We've been together, you know, together forever. And then they have to find out what he was doing because they were sending him back to Memphis. Um, so, yeah, so it was kind of, yeah, so that's the biggest reason is he just, didn't come back in in the shape that he should have been in and they just squashed us and then we, they weren't doing anything with us and Dilo wasn't really doing anything so I guess they decided hey let's try something else and then they put turbans on us and that killed all of it <laughs> it was <laughs> terrible <laughs> awesome prowrestlingtees.com you can get your I Heart Beaver shirt you can get your headbanger shirt you get your Moss shirt um yeah that's it just go buy a t-shirt or something <laughs>